and welcome back to my channel. I decided that I wanted to film a get ready with me style video here in the Maldives because I'm kind of a bit funny when I'm out here. I don't like to do my hair, I like to leave it natural and I don't wear nearly as much makeup as I would usually wear. So for today's video I have partnered up with Batiste for the launch of their new two-in-one dry shampoo and conditioner which is absolutely perfect for my hair. I've never really got on with dry shampoos that much because they're quite drying and my hair is really coarse and quite dry anyway because of all of the bleach. So this is the perfect product for me to use here when I want to refresh my hair, refresh my waves and just effortless style. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So this is the makeup and hair look that I'm going to be creating. This takes me all in all about 10 minutes and it's the perfect option when you're on holiday and you don't want to spend loads of time doing your makeup. So as you can see, I burnt my nose just a little bit whilst I was away, but let's ignore that. To prep my skin, I'm using the Le Mer Perfecting Treatment. I've been using this for about a year and you can wear it without makeup, you can wear it with. It really does just give your skin a sort of perfected look, so that's the best way that I can describe that. For my foundation, I'm going super light at the moment and I use two pumps of the By Terry Cellular Rose CC Serum and one pump of the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation and I literally just use that all over my face. It's so much lighter, it doesn't completely cover your skin and it lets your skin breathe and it just doesn't look too much when you've got a natural glow. But obviously I will need to conceal because it isn't full coverage. So I'm going to be using the Yves Saint Laurent Touche Eclat and I'm just going to pop this underneath my eyes and blend it with a beauty blender and then just lightly over any blemishes that I may have which I think are due to me drinking too much gin whilst I'm away but let's ignore that. To blend under my eyes I use the tapered end of the blender and then I turn it around and use the chubby end just to blend in where I've used the concealer. Now a lot of my products were smashed on the way out here so I'm using my Hourglass Ambient Light Palette instead of my By Terry of Wilder Pearl because unfortunately it didn't make it. Uh, but this is just as beautiful. For my blusher I'm using the Forever Blush from Elizabeth Arden in shade Deep and I use the top two sections for my blush and highlight which just gives a nice kind of peachy glow and then I go to the bottom two sections and I use this as kind of like a bronzer and contour. For my brows, I'm not really doing anything. I'm just gonna set those in place using the Givenchy Mr. Brow Groom. I just find this holds them in place and I'm just not gonna be putting any other product on them. Now, unfortunately, I can't do my makeup without contouring my nose because that's just something that I always do. I notice it in my makeup. So I'm just gonna do a light contour of my usual nose contour. So down either side and then on the tip and I'll just blend that in using my fingers. For my eyelashes, I'm going to use the L'Oreal So Couture Volume Million Lash, and this is great for lengthening. It doesn't give too much volume, so you still got kind of like naturally fluttery eyelashes, so it doesn't look too much in relation to the light makeup. So I use my eyelash curlers, which are from Tweezerman, and just that mascara. Then I go onto my lips, and I'm not overlining my lips anymore. I'm staying very much true to the outline of my lips, and I'm using the MAC Spice Lip Liner all over them. And then over the top, I'm putting the L'Oreal matte addiction in shade blush in a rush please ignore my really pink tongue I don't know what that's about to set my makeup I am using the Marc Jacobs coconut setting spray which I am obsessed with so I probably uh, applied a little bit too much there once I've finished my super quick makeup, it's now time for my hair, and this is really simple. I just spray it a little bit with water and crunch it up to emphasize my natural waves. To refresh my hair, I'm using the Batiste Dry Shampoo and Conditioner in Cocoa and Cashmere, and I just shake this up to make sure all of the product is nicely mixed. 
And then I spray this in a halo over the top of my hair and anywhere else that my hair needs a little bit of a refresh, so at the roots and also through the lengths because it's soft enough to be used through there to create a really sort of soft and natural style. There's a hair hack from the Roland Marais catwalk and all you have to do is spray the Batiste 2 in 1 at arm's length all over your hair and blast it with a hair dryer for 10 seconds. I then massage this in and there's no residue and my hair feels soft and supple and it gives a really nice texture to my natural waves as well. That is the finished look. Both hair and makeup probably takes me about 10 minutes which is great when you'd rather be spending your quality time on holiday doing all of the things that you enjoy. So now it's time to move on to my outfit. Just follow me, shadow me 